Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad, and our main locomotive needs some help, so we're building a second locomotive. Today it's time to do the wiring harness. Now this board is one that I made up for the Millbrook 70, which is our main locomotive, and uh, here I'm wiring up the ground and the jumper between the two batteries. Now this locomotive is four inches longer than the 70, so I have to make uh, a two inch extensions off the end of the board. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is run the positive that goes between the battery switch and the motor controller. And now we'll put in some cable ties just to hold things together. And then of course we trim off all those pigtails and make everything look nice and neat. Now it's time to strip the wires back and put some heat shrink tubing on and then we get to put some connectors on it. These are eyelet connectors that we're going to put on these wires so we can go on the battery terminals and just uh, screw it down. Now they're all crimped on. Now I can heat shrink everything down to the heat gun. With that down, now it's time to strip back the wires that will go into the motor controller. And we're going to solder the ends of these. Um, I'm not going to solder them to anything, we're just going to solder them solid. Because uh, I don't have any straight-in connectors yet. I'll, I'll find some eventually, I'm sure. But uh, in the meantime, soldering does a good job uh, of doing what I want to do here, which is make that wire stiff enough to go into the header and not have any little wires uh, hanging out there to short out. So now I take this and put it over on the locomotive. I have a few more parts I've got to put together first before I, uh, before I can mount this, but uh, this is all set to go on the locomotive, and this will actually fit. So there you go. That's a quick wiring job. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.